All right, we're going to do Words Their Way, sort 49, which is about prefixes, uni, by, try, and other numbers. And these prefixes are pretty simple just with the prefixes, but the words are a little bit tricky. So again, um, this is going to go over not the sorts, but the meanings of the words for sort 49 here. So let's have a look at the prefixes and the meanings of the words. So let's just start with the meanings of these prefixes, and it's, again, very simple. Uni means one, and by means two, and try means three. And the most obvious example of this comes from your guide words. So unicycle has one wheel, or one cycle. A bicycle has two wheels, a tricycle has three wheels. So again, very simple, uni, by, try, one, two, three. And hopefully you've also figured out quad is going to be four, pent means five, and oct means eight. So let's just quickly break some of these down a little bit further, starting with by. So by means two, but the words are going to have a little bit different meanings depending on the root word bisect means to cut into two equal parts is to bisect. Bilingual means you can speak two languages. And biweekly is a confusing word for me because it can either mean every two weeks or some people use it as twice in a week so twice in a week it could be either one which is why it's confusing for me sometimes and now let's have a look at some try words which means three so first of all a trio is simply a group of three a trilogy is usually three movies or books that go together for example uh there's toy story there's toy story one toy story two and toy story three that is a trilogy of movies. Triple just means times three. For example, if I triple five, I have 15. Or in baseball, if you get hit the ball and run three bases, you just hit a triple. And then finally, tripod. What is a tripod? So a tripod is a three-legged camera stand. You can see one, two, three legs. You put your camera on top of it. That is called a tripod. And finally, let's cover uni, which means one. So you might have heard of words like united or union. We'll kind of give them the same meaning for this, which is together as one. So if there's a union, like a marriage is a union, the two people become together as one. Or if a team is united, they are all working together as one. So those kind of have the same meaning there. The word unison means with one voice. So for example, um, for choir, you're all singing in unison with one voice. Usually, unless it's a special song, you don't have... 50 people singing 50 different things, you sing in unison. Or sometimes you may speak in unison together if you're doing a presentation. If something is unique, it means it is one of a kind. So it's di something unique is different from anything else. If you made a piece of art that no one had ever done before, you haven't seen anyone else do that, that would be unique. One of a kind, different from anything else. Now, you know the word uniform as what workers or students might wear, but really the uniform means the same. So for example, um, at our school, the notebooks are uniform. We don't have 25 different types of notebooks for 25 students. Uh, we all have the same notebooks, so our notebooks are uniform. And if you think about the uniform you wear, really it's, this, it's always the same. So uniform just means the same. Um, so it's all one. And I think everyone knows what a unicorn is, but the word actually comes from one horn. And in another language, um, Latin, 
corn means horn, not the corn we eat. So one horn, unicorn, one horn. And finally, universe is the earth, the planets, the stars, and everything in space. There's only one universe. Um, so that is what the universe is. So that is it for this week. There's quite a bit going on, even though the prefixes themselves are simple. The words uh, have a lot of different meanings. Let me just add one more quick note for you. And October used to be the eighth month, even though right now it's the 10th month. On the ancient calendar, October was the eighth month. So that's why it's called October and oct means eight. So that's a little bit of a strange one for this week. Um, but that is it for your word study meanings. And thank you for sticking with this long video. Bye.